Hey guys, welcome to reaction slash review of Spookly the Square Pumpkin. So if you guys didn't know, uh, you know, it's Halloween uh, at, at the time I'm uploading this. And yeah, I'm, I'm doing a Halloween special related video where I'm going to be reacting to a spooky movie. Now, Spookly the Square Pumpkin is not a spooky movie. It, it's just Halloween themed. And that's why I'm watching it. Well, not only that, this is a film that I think is one of my childhood favorites. I think is the key word. All I know is that I watched this movie as a kid and my dad actually messaged me earlier this month about it. And when I heard that this film was on Netflix, I immediately thought, all right, I gotta make a react slash review video because I, I don't really remember this film. There are some things I do remember, like I kind of remember the gist of this story, and I do know that this is a musical. There are songs. Speaking of songs, by the way, uh, my dad actually sang a song for some reason. Spookly the square pumpkin, spookly the square pumpkin. He's the squarest, he's a square. He's not like everyone else, he's spookly. The well, uh, yeah, uh, anyways, guys, I, I hope you guys did enjoy that little, uh, song. Yeah, anyways, let's get right into this. Our story begins, as most stories do, with something worth telling, with something that's new. Yeah, I, I was hoping for that, you know, if it wasn't, then, you know, I would just be bored. Oh, the font. I, I get it, it's like 2004. Not only that, the animation's gonna be very dated, too, because it's 2004. It doesn't look that great, but it's fine. But sis, I was just, you know, I, she started it. <laughs> ah, you can tell they're female characters, because they're, they're slightly pink. Have some granola, low fat. And no squirming. But I like squirming. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay. I mean, dialogue's fine. It's it's all right. I get it. This is a kids' film, so of course, there's there's gonna be you know, it's not gonna be that creative. But I I will say that scene where she's just silent is funny. Like who? Earthquake! Hi, Jack. Wait, what? Wait, <laughs> how is how does this man have the strength to lift up both of them at the same time, especially the bigger one? Also, how does he not notice too? He's just like completely oblivious. Big Tom, how could you even think of leaving little old Bobo behind? And us honeydews, don't forget us. Okay, well, I definitely won't. You know, now that they said that, I definitely won't forget about them. There he is. That was very quick. Well, look at him. He's not like us. He's a freak of nature. Wow, that's uh, <laughs> definitely not a racist or anything. And that name, Spookly. What kind of name is that? It sounds evil. Spookly. Spookly. Oh, this is how we transition to the first song. Got it. All right. It's a fair transition. I mean, honestly. Like, this movie's already kind of like moving a little fast. The kid just got born and now they're just like picking on him. But there's no way, no how, and not the slightest possibility that Pointy over there is going to be allowed in the Jack Olympics. Oh, the Jack Olympics? So yeah, that's like the, that's what's going to take up most of the runtime is the... Jack Olympics. I mean, it makes sense, you know, gotta have something else going on. Because the story would be very boring if it, if there wasn't, like, something to fill up the time. And when you say pumpkin, you are talking about a long tradition of roundness. Real pumpkins are round the end. Yeah, okay. Like, I get what it's going for. It's going for, like, the whole, like, uh, acceptance thing. Yeah, and... I, I've seen I've seen that done multiple times, but I mean, like... And it's not really subtle with it, but, like, it's not bad. Poor Spookly sat there all alone, sad and confused. Yo, the narrator, how's it going, man? <laughs> How you been doing so far? And maybe I would find a friend. Oh, okay, I get it. I was like, what? why were they? <laughs> why was the ants there? But I get it. It was like the whole, like, friend thing. Okay, I, I was confused. The, the weird thing about this is that what makes 
a pumpkin alive because technically he's sitting next to like a ton of other pumpkins, but they're not like speaking. So are they just like, what? What are they? <laughs> like I don't even know what they are. Are they just like not alive? Is there like something that like makes a pumpkin alive, or is it just like not born yet? <laughs> Every pumpkin deserves a chance to wear the candy corn crown. The crown, the crown, the candy corn crown. Dang, think he has a thing for the crown. <laughs> think he has a thing for that crown. Big Tom likes the crown. <laughs> oh, oh, I knew this was gonna happen. Oh, oh. What the heck was that? Uh, I, you know what, I'll go with it, I'll go with it. What? Looks like the very one I lost last week. Sorry, Bobo, but you'll have to win this if you want it. <laughs> nice try. Completely failed. Edgar Allen and I'm Poe. Oh my god, Edgar Allen and Poe. Are you serious? I never thought that this would be in that film. But that's kind of funny. So I'm guessing these guys are gonna trick Spookly into getting the crown for them. <laughs> okay. This this is the next song and it's 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 all right. It doesn't have the best lyrics. I don't need to like critique this movie's songs as much. I feel because a lot of them feel the same to me. They're like all right, but they're not good. You know, Spookly, I think there's an itsy bitsy spider inside of you. All that, all that. <laughs> Thinking about uh, pumpkins, that does not sound right. I feel like a lot of these are just copy and paste models, and then you actually have like the real characters. First off, we've got the Pumpkin 500 racing around and around the this track. Yeah, all right. So they're just gonna hobble along, <laughs> or they're gonna roll, I guess. But like. Well, spooky square. So I guess they're just gonna like hobble along the t the track. Clearly, the winner of these events will be I. So if you would just hand over the candy corn crown, Jack. She's really trying to get that crown, but she's not gonna get it. Arachnids, arachalam, it's all the same to me. I love bugs. <laughs> no, oh no, oh no. When I saw that transition, I was like, oh no, this is gonna be another song. This one's probably gonna be the most filler out of all of them. Okay, this one I, so far, I actually kind of like it, but it's just because of how, like, I think it's kind of bad, but in a funny way. Okay, actually, this is a pretty good song. I actually kind of like it. Even though it's definitely the one that's the most filler, it's, I think it's the funniest one. <laughs> Oh, that texture, the ground texture. <laughs> nice. Oh, God, that did not look very good. I actually never noticed that. I haven't really been commenting on the animation as much, to be honest, and I feel like I should because it is definitely dated and it definitely, there are things about it that are not good. And remember, victory is sweet, huh? Like candy corn. Like Bella, too. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's like a whole romance thing going on. <laughs> not a fan of that. See, so yeah, I was kind of right there. They're just like, they're not even rolling. They're just hobbling around. Wait, how does that... Shouldn't Big Tom and Little Tom count as one person? And knock down the most pins. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I mean eggplants. Huh. Huh. What? <laughs> what? What kind of joke was that? Just like an, an identification joke. Okay. <laughs> Nine. You couldn't count the one extra pin and say that, oh, you got nine. You had to actually count how many were down. Spookly ain't doing so well, is he? Oh. Yeah, so of course he's not going to do well. And I'm guessing at the end he's going to like do something at the end or maybe do well in the end. Well, I, I kind of know what happens. I know exactly what happens. But, you know, I'm not going to spoil it for the viewers who haven't seen the movie because, you know... Obviously, they care so much about uh, what happens in this. These, I will say, it's been fading out a lot in this movie, and it makes me think that those are for, like, commercial breaks. I wouldn't be surprised, because this definitely is like a TV movie. The winner is Bobo with three points. I, I guess he should have just given her the crown from the beginning. You know, that would have just saved so much time. Do you think Bella likes me? I mean, 
likes me, likes me. Shut up, please. Shut up, please. I don't like this semi, like, sh arc thing. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. I wish for world peace. Yeah! What? <laughs> what was that with the, like, pee things? What, what was that? Yeah, so this is, like, the hurricane moment where everything, like, uh, goes wrong. And then, like, Spookly's gonna save everyone. Halloween was just a day away when a mighty storm blew across the bay. Oh, thanks, narrator. I, I clearly needed to hear that there's a storm to know that there's a storm. Bouncing left, slamming right, banging, bashing. Narrator, I have eyes. I have eyes, narrator. I don't need to, I don't need to hear you talk to know what's going on. But there are times it's better to be a square. Yeah, so that essentially basically saying that like, oh, he, he can like stay put so he's gonna help everyone with the storm because they can roll i feel like if the wind was strong enough to blow over like pumpkins like that then i feel like spookly would just get blown over anyways <laughs> so yeah this is like his moment of uh heroism where he saves the day yes yeah, so of course he saves the day so now all of the people expect uh accept him enough chit chat Let's get this party started! Alright, and then here's the ending, the celebratory dance scene to end off the film. Alright, this song's okay. It's definitely not bad, but it's definitely not good. There's a lot of animation liberties taken in this song, though, I will say. He picked the pumpkins up one by one to see what damage the storm had done. Oh, that makes sense. You see, that that actually, that, that was a time I couldn't understand what was going on. And all the pumpkins loved the sight and the warmth of his square light. Oh, so he's a jack-o'-lantern now. Okay. Uh, there's just one problem with that. Did that mean the farmer just cut out all his innards and put a candle in? I don't want to be dark. I, I get what I get what it's going for. It's it's a good ending, but just when you really think about it, it's like it's kind of dark. We all will discover you can't judge a book or a pumpkin by its cover. So yeah, overall, I'd say this is it's a fine film. It's definitely not good. Uh, it, it's definitely a kids film. It's a it's a fine kids film that I think has a good message, and it's it's not it's not terrible. I, I didn't hate it. Uh, it's but it's just like you know it's definitely not made for me. And yeah, I, I definitely did get bored at some points. There definitely is some filler. For example, that one song. <laughs> but I actually kind of like that song because I thought it was funny. But yeah, I'd say this film is definitely solid. The whole, like, idea behind it is clever, and while the animation definitely is dated and not the best, it it's definitely works for the time frame, I think. And even, like, not considering the time frame, it, it still works. It's just trying to tell a message, and, that, and that's really it. And, yeah, I'd say this is a... It, it's a fine film. It, it's not bad, but I definitely wouldn't say it's it's the best thing I've seen, even even for kids' medium, but it's still it's still solid. It definitely is a solid Halloween theme. Uh, Halloween theme movie is what I meant to say, or what I meant to continue to say. But uh, yeah, overall, I'd say this was a solid film. It was, it was all right. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Live like new. Subscribe to my channel, and uh, happy Halloween, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.